Hi, this is Adric with horrible quality, mobile quality, I should say, tutorials. Drug sex. Uh, just so you know, I killed this Octorok. You'll probably have to deal with him in runs. It's not so bad, it's more so because I have to deal with it while doing a tutorial. That's why I killed it. So, I'm going to start out with doing the trick real quick. Zero, one, two, three. Alright, that's really all there is to it. Any questions? <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, let me reload this really bad. So, first off, Big Octo. Caveat number one we're going to go into detail about. He has two uh, active radiuses, I guess you could call them. First off is his actual active radius. He's now currently up and ready to zuck. But he doesn't do it right here. He only does it when you go up to a certain spot. Or into his radius for that. So We're going to be in the safe spot right over here. He doesn't mind us. He's just agitated and ready. He is preparing. Alright, so first things first, after getting onto the lily pad, specifically probably from that flower there, it's a little tight but you can make it if you're going for the fastest strat. But it's only so much faster. Next up is getting to the spot. I like to line up with either that side of the rock right here, because the lily pad moves, it makes a really nice starting point, so it really, like, it takes into account the movement or the right side of the big huge island that has no collision on the top. Next... Okay. You're going to just face this direction and the goal is to look at Link's foot on this side. That's the left side is according to the camera. Now, you just want a little sliver of green white part of the lily pad between that little tear and Deku Link's foot. Notice there are two tears, one like right there about, actually that's not a good cue, but uh, you want this one that's down here, not the other one. Alright, that's easy enough. I don't usually seal shield turn, but I'm going to for the video. Next up is the angle that you want. The angle is extremely important. Go too far left, you're not going to have iframes from your roll, and this guy's going to zuck you. Too far right, you might get stuck in the right side, right face of the rock. Face, you see the face? And you're gonna have a bad time. You'll probably zuck ya, you won't have enough frames. Well, the invincibility frames actually end when you pop up, I think. Or, if not, then before that, then he zucks ya. Maybe there's a way to get it, but I have no idea. And I wouldn't want to put any more time into this trick. <laughs> so, next up. Oh, uh, one quick caveat. Do not use C up. C up screws with Link's starting and viewing position. You want to use Deku Bubble aiming. That's consistent. It doesn't have an issue. Next up, you're going to be looking here. So, starting from here, since it's low quality, I'm going to explain this in a little more detail. You have like a, a bit of a big bump here on the lily pad. I'm using the top of the clock as a pointer, you could say. So, uh, actually, I wonder if I can use RI to allow Deku Link to use Hookshot. Yeah. Okay. Alright. It's a little big, but it'll do. So, you got a little bump right here, and you have a little bump to its right. We're going to be making sure that the tip of the clock is kind of like in line with the left side. So it's like the lily pad is wrapping around the it's wrapping around the top part of the clock. Only the left side of it though. So basically right there. You can make any kind of visual cue you want. That's equivalent. That's just what I do normally. Alright. So right about there, for example. And you don't have to do it, but you have to do it as according to the lily pad, because everything else is going to be moving as according to you. You're the only thing moving, though, but 
That's the explanation we're gonna go with. So, next up is regarding lily pads. The next caveat to this trick. So it's got at least six that I think I've observed, maybe eight patterns that it goes into. And pattern, by pattern I mean like the, let's say the lines that it follows. So, the important part that we're going to be using is that they all share one point, and that point is the middle, when it's in the middle of any of its patterns. Now, if you were to, say, do it when it's at the edge, you would have to use a different setup than when it's on the other edge of that same pattern. Using the middle makes it consistent. That's what this old trick exposes, basically, I guess. So. We're going to get back to the position, we're going to go over the inputs. Already trying to go too fast. I <laughs> tried doing a song with soaring RTA attempts. Wider dimension RTA, I don't know. Alright, so that spot should work. B button specifically to aim. We're going to wrap the lily pad, little edge, around the clock. And next up is timing. So every pattern takes like two seconds, so you start in the middle, it takes one second to get to the edge, then two seconds, or the second second to get back to the middle. So what I do is time it. Uh, this is going to be runner specific, so I won't go into too much detail, so I do usually do something like zero, one, two, three, and then roll on that frame, or like start in the middle, zero, one, two, three, four, roll on that frame, for example. If you want to be fast, you're probably just going to use a visual cue based off the rock. But depending on the pattern, that's going to be hard to use, especially if it's going like back and forth according to this angle. So, totally pad, visual cue. This should work. So, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do this unbuffered like I did in the video, the first part of the video, but if you want, you can have fun with that. You have two frames to get the roll in, so you want to mash that A button like crazy. But it's still possible. It's better than one frame. So what I'm doing during this part is holding up, because if you miss this frame, you're going to pause on the next frame, and you want to be facing up by that frame. Speaking of, let's pause buffer it and up input. Alright, still holding up. I'm going to roll on this specific frame. He's facing where I want to go, and I'm just going to hold up. Nothing else. And there you go. Oh, that's the bean button. I was hitting Y and not Z. There you go. That's all there is to it. Well, aside from the rest of it, target the Octo, that 30 pounds fast. Octo Rock responds. Oh, I got caught there. Sure. And we're doing it again, because the big act though is a fun time. Don't let the Zuck fool you. Go to this lily pad, for those who aren't used to this kind of trick. And then let the big act on this side Zuck in, and you're gonna go here. And depending on your route, you're gonna go to Deku Palace, where you're gonna get Song of Soaring, I think, World Record. Yeah, World Record goes to Deku Palace first. Follow Deku, or follow World Record for movement from there. <laughs> Not me. I don't know what I'm doing that much. I'm still learning the route for the old route, for the old rules. <laughs> Alright, have fun with the new rules, guys. Enjoy. It was fun making them and helping out with the process. Glad it's mostly over, though. Thank goodness for that. See ya.